It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday night special where I talk about everything rock hounding related. Well, uh, some of you, some of you already know, um, about a week ago, I, uh, I cracked a rib, you know, uh, how's that saying go? Um, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Well, I may have been playing a stupid game and what I won was uh, a broken cell phone and a cracked rib. I appreciate all of the lovely messages and comments. Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, it only hurts if I move, so that's a plus. Uh, kind of just taking it, taking it easy. Um, essentially, what happened was, uh, well, climbing around on rocks. Uh, in in the snow, and uh, feet went out from under me, went face down, and uh, had my phone in the chest pocket of my coat, and uh, which kind of puts it right over my right over my ribs, and uh, landed on the one rock. Um, it was kind of funny. We were I was actually climbing around on rocks and like taking video and all all kinds of stuff, and uh, yeah. Um, after doing that on almost flat ground, I, I fell and, uh, landed with the rock jabbing, hitting my phone and, uh, I, I felt the crack and then, uh, well, obviously the phone broke. I guess it could have been a lot worse had I, um, had I, uh, not had the phone there to kind of like act as a shield, if you will. It certainly absorbed some of the blow. It could have very easily been a broken, a broken rib, um, which that would not have been fun. But uh, let's, uh, I'm going to chat a little bit more about that. But let's get, let's get our eyeballs on some rocks here. Um, we've got this, we've got this uh, opalized piece of wood, a really nice piece um, that Sarah found in a wash earlier. Well, it was like a couple months ago. Um, uh, I haven't shown this since picking it up, but I did make it into a cab, which is nice. It's a beautiful little cab, and this is going to go on the display case, which is nice. I like that. This will probably go back, too, because it's kind of fun. I like to do stuff like, uh, you know, have have the ugly raw rock and then have something nice uh, right next to it, which that's that's fun. Let's, uh, let's check in on the Inhydro. Now, if you haven't seen this before, um, Kyle, World of Rockhounds, sent me this almost empty in hydro, and uh, I'm trying to refill it by soaking it in distilled water. We've seen some bubbles come out of it, but uh, the real question is, is it a measurable amount of, of water? So last, last week I weighed it. It didn't really have any additional weight pickup. Um, we were at 33.2. 33.9 grams so maybe we picked up some water um if not i think it's almost time to formulate another plan yeah so we're not really picking up any 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 water here inside it you can kind of see that water in there um I guess the next plan is, what do you think? Should I uh, should I vacuum pack this thing? Um, you know, using the food saver, like, in this jar with water to try to suck the air out of it and then, in turn, force force the, the water in? Or do I just keep it soaking over time? Um, you know, I feel like eventually it would have to rehydrate since it lost. Uh, that's just... The way that's got to be, right? Um, so speaking of speaking of the fall, um, you know, I was lucky in that I was able to pretty easily get back to the vehicle, and uh, you know, Sarah was with me. But you know, we spend a lot of time far, far out in the back country where we see nobody. There's no cell phone coverage. Uh, sometimes you know, it's upwards of a hour drive to get to cell phone coverage and you know we have all of the survival tools skills knowledge all of the things that you would want but of course uh, the usage of those is predicated on your ability to actually 
use them. So that's got me looking into uh, looking into a beacon, like a personal locator beacon. So I'll probably be picking one up this coming week and just kind of have it as, uh, well, as insurance, right? You know, it's a, certainly a, a luxury item to have, but, you know, uh, you pay for annual car insurance, um, you pay for home insurance, you pay for all kinds of stuff. To be able to have something where anywhere on the planet I can hit a button, if my life is in danger, and somebody's going to get it, and they're going to come, you know, what's the what's the cost of a life, right? So I've been doing some research into those. Um, I'll probably, I, I pretty much know which one I'm going to get, so I'll be uh, doing that, um, and maybe I'll share that here on the channel if anybody's interested in that. We did some uh, agate cutting and polishing um the past week i find that um it's not too bad with the broken rib cracked rib just to kind of just stand at the machine <laughs> so uh there's that so got this prairie agate which is really really pretty i like it you know um it's fun uh to see all these super interesting and different pieces of material that you wouldn't typically get to see i like this limb cast that's these uh these two are gonna go in the house. I also have the end cut from it, which I thought it was just kind of fun. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but uh, you know, that's the graveyard point one. If you haven't watched that video, definitely go check it out. I'll throw a link in 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 here. Um, it's always fun to have some time back out in the shop. Um, speaking of being back out in the shop, since I'm kind of still in a little bit of a recovery mode. I'm thinking this coming week uh, I'm doing a number of videos on radioactive minerals, radioactive material. Um, it's something that I think is really fun. You know, it's very related to, uh, to rock pounding. I happen to live in an area with a lot of uranium mines. We're going to be doing some uh, collecting of radioactive rocks come summer. Everything's under snow right now. So that should be a lot of fun, and we can kind of do a number of videos this week talking about radioactive minerals, um, talking about the Geiger counter, all kinds of different fun stuff. I think it'll be a blast, and I think you'll learn a lot. should be good, and um, I think uh, with that, we might have might, might leave it there. Um, you know, if you have any uh, thoughts on personal locator beacons, I'm looking at the ACR, uh, the ACR view. I know people like Backcountry Sean. He's got the in-reach system that interacts with your cell phone. Um, I'm leaning towards the ACR because uh, it has a battery that lasts for five years. Um, you don't have to worry about it, charge it up or anything. It has no con connectivity to a phone, but it operates on some different networks. I'll let, you know what? I found a great video that was very educational for me. Um, I'm going to put a link down in the description box to that guy's video on, you know, comparing all the different beacons. You know, if you're concerned about, uh, well, dying out in the middle of nowhere, uh, maybe give it a watch. It's pretty good. I mean, it's certainly not for everybody. I mean, if you don't really go to extreme places, it's probably way in excess of what you need. But, um, yeah, once again, thanks everybody. Let me know what you think about the Hydro, and uh, we're going to leave it there this week. Um, take care, and I'll, I'll catch, you, catch you on the next one.